Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're here in Noel's backyard. And how are you, Noel? Yeah, fine, thank you very much. Good, and we're going to talk to Noel about his transition to an electric taxi, the grants that he's availed of, the savings that he's made. So let's get started. Noel, you've transitioned over to an electric taxi. Uh, you availed of some finances and some grants as well. Can you explain about how that happened? I was looking at my mobile phone actually on, on, the, on the website and I saw the National Transport Authority had a, a new program for EV uh, grants. So I applied for that. You had to be a taxi driver for the last three years in a row. Your car had to have over 300,000 kilometers on it and your car had to be one or two years away from being crushed. In other words, not used on the road anymore. So I applied for the grant and within 10 days, I got an answer back saying, yes, we'll, we'll give you the grant, you a perfect candidate for the." Like a lot of taxi drivers, you're tracking what your spend is every week on fuel. What, what's the difference yes. now? A huge saving. The previous figure, roughly about 210 a week on diesel fuel, as opposed to this EV car that I drive now and it's only costing me roughly 12 euros per week. It's a lot of money to be saving every week. Yeah, and o only because I got the grant for the car. So Noel, you drive the Kia e-Niro. Yeah. Some of the advantages as to why you picked that one specifically. Well, it was recommended by the Transport Authority as, as one of the cars that you could pick. And it has a range of 535 kilometers, roughly. So you've optimized how you charge it as well. You've got ESP I to come out. Got them to put in the nighttime rate, which is half the daytime rate. And I charge my car overnight and every morning she's fully ready to go. How many days would you get out of that? I would get two full days working wow. on, on 100% and then I charge it on the second day at night while I'm asleep and the following morning she's back to 100% again. If you were talking to another taxi driver and they were considering going to an electric vehicle, what would you say to them? It's all pluses really. I mean, I've, I've no negatives about this car. It's the way we're going to go in the future anyway. The reason some people buy electric cars is because of the environment and climate change. We can see the effects of it out and about at the moment. That's right. What's your thoughts on it? If we don't do something, it will get worse. So hopefully we haven't left it too late. What I found is when people see more and more of them out and about, especially taxis, because they're getting into them, they're seeing them on the road, they're on the road all the time. Yeah. People are then making that transition over. And that's why I set up the channel to drive that adoption and the awareness of what electric vehicles can do for the climate and for the environment. Exactly. Not only is it taxis, but the buses and the ESB vans, uh, post office vans, they're all electric now. So it's all good for the environment.